Welcome back everybody to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to make a diving station and our climbing axis if everything goes well. So here's the thing, you guys uh, who have been watching um, me play this game for a while now know that I like to go over to Bravo and use their diving station. Um, but I'm thinking I want my own diving station uh, just because it'll be a little more convenient and if we ever happen to be down in the cave and we die down there, having our own diving station here means we can, you know, make more air tanks to get back down there as quickly as possible. Um, so that is the reason. And yeah, so let's get let's get going on. So the first thing we want to do, <coughs> excuse me, uh, to make this thing is we want uh, all of that stuff, which I should already have. I've made five of those. That, wait, how many does it require? diving station five look at that what do you know five okay we need ten of these and I think twelve of these we should put these back in the refrigerator I've been using those to feed the birds okay and so that gives us kaboom our own diving station fantastic all right what are we gonna need for the pickaxes now I've got eight ingots that I've made up in there so we got that uh, oh, yeah, that's right. We don't have any crystal. I used up all the rest of my crystal to make premium arrows, which means we're going to have to take another trip down to the caves to get more crystal before we can make these. And that's fine. So here's here's what I think we'll do then. I think we'll take a trip down to the cave and we will get some crystal and we'll also set up an FOB whilst we're down there. I believe that's what we're going to do. Okay, so where do I want to put the diving station? You know what? This looks like a pretty good place for it. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Uh, this looks like a pretty good place for a diving station right cheer So let's set it right there. All right, look at that. We have our own, very own diving station. I love it. Okay, so um, we're just going to need to make some of these. So we're going to need some zinc and some rope. Well, let's grab some zinc there and let's grab some rope here. I have one, uh, a half a tank-ish right there. Um, but we're going to need more of that. Of course so let's let's make like two more should be plenty for now okay so we'll put that back in there put this back in here and you are in the process of uh, making more potassium right okay because I've been using that to make gunpowder I've only been using the fertilizer or I mean the manure I'm sorry for fertilizer oh uh, we've, we've got plenty of crops so we are in such good shape with the crops right now that we don't really need to fertilize uh, beyond you know just what we're getting from the chickens so that way we can save the potassium and the ash to make gunpowder okay speaking of which why don't we grab what is currently done and we'll also grab that and let's just whip up a whole bunch of gunpowder here as much as we can and we'll put that stuff back in there okay so, um, so we're going to go down to the cave. So we have plenty of picks for that. So we're good to go there. We're not going to take all of our guns down there. So let's see, what do we want to take down there? Why don't we take the SBT with us and leave the lever action rifle? Because, uh, you know, if we lose this, it's not the end of the world. I think we'll take the Magnum with us too, because again, this is an unupgraded Magnum. It wouldn't be that expensive to replace. We're going to leave the expensive stuff here so basically these three weapons here we will take the pistol with us and um we got 45 rounds there so let's just split that in half for the rifle rounds we don't need to take any shotgun shells with us since we're not taking that well you know what though we could take we could take the this shotgun with us why don't we we might as well it's just sitting here not doing anything so yeah we'll take our our basic weapons with us down there so we'll flip those around and uh, split the shotgun shells in half. Uh, we don't need to take any arrows down there with us because we're not taking a bow. So we got the nines, we got those. How about if we also keep like 10 of these here too? Okay. Uh, we got lots of water there. We, uh, let's also take a half a stack of protein bars, and we could even take... I mean, we're going to run into mushrooms, 
But we could take some berry water with this too. For some reason, this one doesn't. Oh, never mind. It did stack. I couldn't get it to stack in here. I don't know why. But uh, it did stack there, so we're good to go. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, man. All right. So let's put this stuff back in here. We're pretty good, uh, pretty good shape in, uh, you know, with food and water in general. And our armor's in pretty reasonably good shape. So, yeah, let's just grab our extra air tanks, and I think we're ready to head on out. So, yeah, we, um, you know, we need to let the, the power of the mass build back up anyways before we can actually make these. Uh, we need 1,800 power and 150 mass. Sorry, I've got the, I've got the sniffles. So, let's just top you off and... You know, maybe we'll run both of our jennies. Just get that power up. And we'll let the mass come back to 100 on its own, and then we'll maybe feed some sticks or something in it to get it up to 150. There. Okay, so if we lose this stuff down in the cave, uh, these weapons down in the cave, it's not, not the end of the world. I should, however, swap these around. Now, if we lose our armor down there, that's going to really suck, but... I mean, we've got over 100 cotton now and 19 padded cloth, so even to replace that, we can certainly afford to do that. It's not that I want to, per se, but we could afford to if we had to. We have, can we eat one of these? Oh, we can. Look at that. Okay, so that'll top off both of our our uh, protein and our veggies. Hold on a second. I need to blow my nose. I, gotta, I got the sniffles, man. All right, so I think we're ready to go. I feel like I'm forgetting something. We've got lots of bandages. We got oh, you know what we need to do? We need to take some. Uh, let's take a couple of these with us too. Now you know what? We'll just take all three of them. I, I've got lots of medicinal tonic um, and lots of kelp, so I can make more of these <coughs> if we need to. So we'll just take both of those. Okay, I think we're good to go. I don't remember. It's been a few days in real life since I played last. <coughs> excuse me. So I don't remember how long it's been since we've been attacked. But I think it's happened pretty recently. So hopefully we'll be able to get down there without being harassed by our neighbors. All right, let's do this. Okay, <clears throat> something just occurred to me. If I want to set up a forward operating base down in the cave, I should probably bring the stuff to set up the forward operating base down in the cave. You think that's a good idea? I think that's probably a good idea. For goodness sakes. It's been kind of a long day, you guys. It's been kind of a long day at the office. <coughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Let's grab some nails, some of those and some of those. And um, I'm also, I also want to bring a stove down there, too, just because that way we have it if we need it. Uh, so let's see, we need some leather and some scraps. And, um, how much wood do I have? Let's turn all of these into sticks and we'll throw those in the mass uh, recycler. And we're also going to temporarily turn this on too, just to bump it up a little more because I don't want to wait. Okay, so while the sticks are being crafted, uh, we are going to want a foundation. We're going to want a ceiling. We're going to want a doorway and a door. And probably one window and three walls. 
Okay, and we're also going to need a storage a storage chest. Actually, let's do two because I remember last time I, need, I ended up needing two because of all the extra supplies that I ended up taking down there. Okay, so that'll give us our structure and once we have enough mass built up, that'll give us our stove. So we'll have the stove, we'll have the two uh, storage chests. <clears throat> so, let's see. What else do I want to bring down there? Um, let's grab... Let's grab a, a couple fire starters. I'm just going to take those matches there. Uh, so we have those in place. And we should probably take some of this with us. So let's split that in half. What else should we take down there? We should probably... Maybe we should make some more of these. What do we need to make those? Oh, and livers. Yeah, let's make five more of these. And I will keep... I'll keep three here and take the five down with us. Okay, so we got that. Uh, let's also get... Uh, let's just grab all of that, and we're going to split these nails in half and split them in half again. Well, yeah, we're not really going to need nails down there, though, are we? Unless the hunters damage our FOB, which they could. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take, like, say, 50 nails down there with us. Okay, so we got that. Now, do we have enough mass to... We have 78 mass. All right, let's turn this off. And I made all these sticks, so we're going to we're going to throw them in here anyway. That'll bump up our mass quite a bit. Okay? And then now we can make this guy here. And we'll take him down with us. And yeah, we're going to want some firewood. Why don't we take, like, five of those down there with us, too? We'll take a little bit of cordage. We'll put that cordage back. Uh, maybe we'll take a little bit of cloth with us. A little bit of scrap. Just some of this basic stuff that we might need. I can't imagine why we would need circuit boards down there. So I don't think we'll take any of that. Okay, this is probably good enough to start with uh, for the FOB. And f uh, yeah, let's just take all of these down there, all the protein bars down there. Now, remember, we can get the mushrooms down there, too, which gives us both protein and carbs. So <clears throat> I don't I don't have an, enough of this stuff to, you know, like bring that with us. Um, even though this wouldn't wouldn't be a bad thing to take down there because it's it would be well preserved, but I think this is good enough to to start with. It'll get us it'll get us going. All right, now let's get moving here because daylight's a wasting. Am I forgetting anything? No, nope, we got. We'll just let the Jennies run until they run out, um, and that will. Oh yeah, I almost forgot that. <laughs> uh, and this will keep. Uh, yeah, we got two sixty down coming in, only point sixty eight going out, so we should be good there. Okay, now let's go. Okay, down into the cave we go. Probably set this FOB up in about the same place that I set it up in Season 1. Uh, because there's water nearby, so it kind of makes sense to do that. All right, let's put this on. And good, it looks like it's using the half tank up first, which is what we want it to do. Okay, you don't see any campfires right nearby. Uh, no charcoal or crystal deposits over here. What is that? Just 
kind of a black spot in the wall, I guess. All right, let's put this back on. And oh, there's Hunter right there's a Hunter right there. All right, I've got all of this stuff in my inventory, so let's see if we can avoid them. I don't want to take any chances right now. We'll just kind of stay off over this way. <clears throat> There's a crystal nude. We don't have any room. Crap. You know what? This is this is just about gone. Let's just, yeah, let's throw that out. There's not enough in it to uh, worry about. We won't be able to get any any coal. That already looks broken anyways. What? That was weird. Uh, we won't be able to get any coal until we build the FOB and uh, offload all the stuff. Um, but I do want to grab crystal. I think we can grab this without... Attracting the attention of the hunters, hopefully. There's some shrooms. These have a, a... Oh, that's right. We can't pick those, can we? I think those have a spoil timer now, don't they? Let's throw those out for a second. Uh, yes, they do. Look at that. Okay. Go over this way. And we got a bat somewhere. I have no idea where that where it is. There it is. You son of a where did he go? Oh. Well the good news is he didn't give us rabies. Just a, a bit of a bleed. Alright, come here, you bastard. You batsterd. <laughs> See what I did there, batsterd? Hold still so I can shoot you. Okay. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. I just used an extra bandage that I didn't mean to use. All right, we have no room for this. We're going to eat it now. We can take those and let's make a couple, another bandage to at least compensate for the one that I accidentally used. Okay, we can't get that coal right now. I have to come back for it later. Not spotting any crystal up that way. Okay, let's go. I really want to get this stuff out of my inventory. Uh, I do want to go up here and make sure there's no campfires right next to the water. I don't see any. Those coal nodes, well, I don't know if they'll stay there for the trip back. Hopefully they will. They're secondary, though. It's the crystal that we want to grab as soon as we see it. Okay, let's pop our head out here and look for hunters. I see... Uh, thought I saw somebody walking over that way. Maybe not. Okay, there's a crystal. Okay, there's the hunters up there. That's kind of where we need to go, so I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, here we go again. You doity rant. You doity bat. Man, there's mushrooms all over. Let's just leave those mushrooms for now. Let's 
Is that a hunter? Over here? Yes, it is. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go around this way and kind of skirt those guys as best as we can. I don't think... I, I mean, I, I think we can get to where we need to go without having to go really close to them, but I'm not sure until we get up here. We're okay. I saw a crystal right over right there. You know what? Let's actually leave that one there for the moment. Okay, yeah, so this is the same place we had our FOB in season one, and it's not it's a pretty good place because it's just right down there to the lava cave. Um but it's also right next to this water. So, you know, if we need to get water or wash our hands or whatever, we have it right here. And we just set it back in this corner. So I see no reason not to do the same thing this time. All right, so we'll just put this down here. The door will go here. The window will go here. I probably don't, didn't even really need these walls, but... Oh, I made one wall too many, didn't I? Darn it. All right. Well, we'll need, we'll use it for something else. We'll take it back with us. I I don't recall ever seeing cave hunters throw grenades or molotovs, but you know what? Let's just have a roof anyways, just in case. <laughs> okay. Let's put... We'll do the same arrangement we did before. So we put our stove right here. And then we put our two chests along the wall over here. Uh, really? I was able to fit two chests along the wall over here? I remember that's what we had. I just don't remember how I actually did that. We can kind of clip it into the wall there. Oh, yeah. I guess that's what we did is we clipped them a bit. Okay. That's fine if that's what it takes. Nice. All right, so, um, I didn't, oh crap, I didn't want to take all these boards down here either, but you know what, let's keep some of them down here anyway, um, just in case we need them for some reason. Okay, so we'll keep those, that, that, this, um, those, uh, this, all of those. Let's keep half of these in here and those. We want you to go in there and you to go in there. I'm not going to actually start the fire right now, though. And with this other stuff we're going to actually take with us. Uh, but we can't go down to the lava cave, so... And I'm going to need this to get back up, so I'm just going to keep that stuff in my inventory. Okay, yep, I think we're good. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's uh, let's keep half of these waters down here, too. And the berry waters. So that way we have veggies, we have protein, and we also you know can pick mushrooms while we're down here, too. And I think we'll be good. In fact, you know what? What the heck? Let's just leave all of the protein bars down here, and we're going to get more. So, okay. Now, I might even... At some point, I might even leave some of these weapons down here, but I don't think I'm ready to do that quite yet. Excelente. Okay, so we got our FOB set up. That's great. Um, maybe... Hmm, I was thinking maybe way down the line we could even put a diving station down here, but the diving station requires a... Uh, uh, whatchamacallit? A BCU. I don't think we can have two BCUs in the game anymore. You used to be able to. 
But now that we have the extensions, I don't know if we can still have two BCUs. I don't know if you guys know that in the comments. Let me know if that's possible. Because if we can, then yeah, we, we can bring a BCU down here. Um, oh man, I hope the cave hunters don't attack it. <laughs> and then we can, um, you know, have, have, have a diving station down here. Okay, so the, for the rest of our time down here, we are going after Crystal. I don't remember exactly how much we needed. I think it was something like 16 or whatever to make the climbing axes. Uh, so we already have 17. So I think we've met that quota. But of course, we want more for other things too. So let's go ahead and start getting coal as well. I thought I saw a crystal right by these stalagmites. Uh, I wonder if it despawned or something. Okay, let's go off over this way. Did those hunters repop somewhere else? I thought they were like right on top of that little plateau looking thingy over there. I am not seeing them now. All right, well here, let's grab this phosphate. I'm a little bit uh, nervous about where those hunters are. I think they may maybe they repop somewhere else. They move around like rogues do. Uh, that you know they don't their camp is in different locations. Oh, here they come. Where you at, Mang? Here he is. He didn't even hit us. That's awesome. He did. But he didn't bleed us. Okay. Let's grab this. Um, that fire starter we should probably go take back to our FOB. Might as well. Alright, there's another hunter over that way. We'll wait for him to come to us unless we want to try and snipe him with our this is kind of hard to see. Your base, yeah. Well, let it be under attack. Then I can't do nothing about that right now. Let's see if we can snipe this guy. <laughs> I I I have such a hard time seeing. Okay, he ran down that way. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Do we see any bats? Okay, he forgot about us. They have very short term memories. Okay. We'll get this coal, get the crystal, go get his bag. And then I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to run back to the FOB and drop off the, the fire starter at least. Maybe even some of this other stuff. We'll get more supplies too when we start killing the hunters down in the lava cave. In, uh, right towards the end of season one, uh, 
Where do we kill that guy at? Oh, over here. I uh, I came back after a few trips <clears throat> in the lava cave like with a, like a full stack of wood of all things. It's like really funny. Did we get uh, the other crystal that was over here? Yeah, we must have. My brain's my brain's wandering. So what else is new, right? Oh, let's go check their fire. They might have some meat that we can eat. Or burn meat is good too because then we can use that for the mass recycler. Yep, burn salmon. We'll also take the ash. And that just dead ends up there. Okay. We have 32 crystals so far. That's not a ton, but it's enough for us to get get our, our climbing axes made. And that was kind of our, well, aside from making the FOB, that was kind of our main reason for coming down here anyway. So let's work our way back out to the, uh, the front cavern and we'll just continue mining coal and crystal as we go. Oh, right. I needed to run back and um, drop off the fire starter. So let's do that first. Maybe we'll hit some more crystal or coal along the way. In fact, look at that. There's some coal right there, and we'll grab the shrooms, too. Hey! Our bat friend's back. He is so incredibly hard to hit. It's unbelievable how hard that little bastard is to hit. Seriously? <laughs> oh my goodness. What if we should try and melee him? Finally. Man, what a pain in the butt. So we'll keep this in there. Um, you know what? Let's just keep the coal down here, too, for, for burning. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Is there anything else? We might as well just keep this stuff down here, too. We don't need to keep the gunpowder down here. And a couple more of those. And I'm going to... Yeah, we better take one of these now. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's eat two of those. Might as well just eat that. I don't want to start the fire just to cook that thing. Um. And let's drink... Well, how did... We're actually not in too bad a shape, but we do need to drink. So let's drink two of those. That will get our hydration back up, fruits and veggies back up, and we'll eat one protein bar. And we are in good shape, and our health should start climbing back up. Okay, very good. Now let's head out to the upper cavern. And again, we'll mine crystal and coal on the way out. And then we'll be able to make the climbing axis, and then we're going to have... I, I don't know if we'll do this in the very next episode, but very soon we will come back down here, but then we'll go into the lava cave instead of into the normal cave, where we will get a uh, better loot. So there's loot crate. For those of you who have never seen the lava cave, there's loot crates down there that have, you know, higher-end loot in them. And... Uh, and loot that you don't see in any crates, even locked crates, you know, in the overworld. And there's more, you know, there's still other more crystal and stuff down there, too. And the lava hunter guys, who can drop pretty decent stuff, too. Actually, I don't, they don't really drop anything that much better than the normal cave hunters, I think, but we'll grab whatever we can get. We 
should be careful because that those hunters could have repot somewhere by the entrance that we need to get back out. But I don't see that that is the case, so I think we're good. I'm not going to run down that tunnel. There might be a crystal down there, but I'm just not going to do it. Okay, let's go up this way. Actually, I think I might see a crystal up there. No, I don't think so. I think that's just the side of the rock. Let's run up this way. Okay, there's a coal there. There's a coal there. This pick's about ready to break. So we'll want to save it for the mass recycler once we do maybe a couple more nodes. Okay, there's Hunter Camp right there. Don't see any crystal up that way. Oh, now I do. All right, we're going to have to kill those hunters because I want the crystal. And there's a phosphorus right there, too. I don't know. If, I think that guy might have seen me. Yeah, he did. Hey, how did you shoot me through the through the rock there? Oh, they didn't bleed me. Oh man. Oh, okay. That crystal right there in my sights just disappeared, but then it came back again. Well, what in the heck? Well, that's nice. So yeah, these guys, um, they they don't really drop anything that great. They're kind of not that much better than rogues. Kind of sucks. There's probably a third guy around somewhere. Maybe. Just be ready for him. You know what? I'm going to take... A health pack, too, just because let's not take any chances. This is the worst place to die in this map. It's down in the cave. There he is right there. Okay. Let's see if we can get him to come over to us. Here he comes. Nice. All right, no bleeds. Let's check the fire and get this next crystal node. We're gonna, I'm gonna kind of look around there too. No meat, but we got um, we got some more ash, so that's not too bad. if I'm going to be able to actually get to that, though. We, we'd we be able to once we get our climbing axes. Let's see. Is there any way to get up there on the other side? Maybe. Wow, look at us. Who needs climbing axes? <laughs> oh, no. We need him to get to the lava cave. We got it. We got a, a sheer cliff that we're going to have to climb up and down to get down there. But still, that's kind of funny that I was able to scooch up there like that. You can call me Spidey Old Guy. Where are you, you bastard? Oh, he infected us again. You know what? I'm going to wait 
Well, I'm gonna have we're gonna have to wait till we get topside because I don't have anything with me. I'm not running all the way back to the FOB. But we've killed all the hunters, so we should be fine in that regard. I hate those things, man. I should have maybe I should have used my shotgun on him. That's what I should have done. Actually. Okay, I think we're ready to go. All right, guys. Well, I believe that is it for this episode. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to <clears throat> build up the rest of the mass and power I need to make the climbing axes. We will make them. And uh, there's two things that we need them for. Obviously, we need them to get down to the lava cave, which is the most important thing to me anyway. But we'll also use them to go grab some eagle's feathers uh, and make a hang glider. Not because a hang glider is actually worth a shit, but just because it's fun. <laughs> it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, and uh, do I want to, you know what? We've got our own diving station. Maybe I'll go around and get some pearls too. Um, since there's like three right here. Sounds like there's a storm up above. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we will, um, we'll use the, the climbing axis for that. And like I said, we might go down to the lava cave again in the next episode. We'll see. Haven't decided yet. Uh, but whatever we do. I'll let you know when the time comes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And I will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.